And there's little Charlie minding his own dang business. Saying, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with day 196 is it 196 197 of my vlogging experience here in the state of Florida. And that little bit of little Charlie today y'all was about the extent of how much I got out today. Today um, I tried something a little bit newer. Um, I don't know how I should put it. Because, I, I'm, well, I'll be point blank, point blank, point blank with you guys, my friends and my followers here on this channel. I'll be point blank. I am lonely. It's been seven years since I was last with anyone, and I'm really, I'm really shooting to try to find someone. I know you, well, nine times out of ten, you really don't find your someone until you aren't looking yourself. It just happens. But I want to change that. I know over the last few years, I know I've been mostly focused on school and also to focusing on the types of women that I probably should not be with. I, I just feel like this is the, uh, the, the bad boy situation, but with women. Like, oh, I can change him. I can change him. Well, to all my female friends, I apologize for that one. Um, I guess where I'm coming from is I thought for today's vlog, I would tell you all a little bit about what it's like to be single for seven whole years. Now, the last relationship that I had did not end on a very good note. It was actually a fairly abusive relationship. Not on my part, but to the, the person I was dating. Uh, now that is in the past, but I will say that relationship in particular did a pretty bad number on me. This person really... I guess I'll be point blank. They threaten to kill themselves. They always hit on me. Not like hitting on, hitting on, but like physically hitting on me, abusing me. It's just all these verbal slurs. And just kind of leaving me out in the cold a, a good majority of the time. It kind of makes me wonder. Kind of makes me wonder that, you know, it should have happened sooner during that time when it should have. But, seven years, it took me about three years to really find myself again. To really get on my footstool and say that I want to try dating again. And that's when I started that realizing that I'm not terribly good at talking with women that I like. And that has led to a lot of good stories. In fact, I, there is this one situation that I recall. There's this one girl I was interested in back when I was at UT. And she found out that I liked her, but she, she thought I was quote-unquote in love with her. And from the people that I heard, she made fun of me for having a quote-unquote gut and just calling me fat and being quote unquote in love with me. Love. Um, I don't speak to that person anymore. I try to be respectful. But then again, if they hadn't have said that, I probably wouldn't have lost as much weight as I have. 
That about close to 60 pounds. 185. Um, so, Alana, I guess uh, you, you did serve a purpose. But, um, but for seven years of singleness, you guys, it is very, very time consuming. It's very emotionally draining. There have been times where I've, I'll be point blank. I've had panic attacks. I've screamed when I've realized that I've lost an opportunity. There's a lot of psychological things that can affect you when being single for seven years. People won't tell you that who have been single for seven years. So, I don't know. I'm just hurting. Not hurting. But I think really one of the most annoying things that I've gotten in my seven years of singleness is just the reactions that I get from people. Like, over the course of the la these last couple of weeks, it's it's been interesting to watch people's eyes just like glut or open up, you know, when they hear like, you've been single for that long? How have you not gone crazy? I have gone crazy before, but I don't know, you guys. I I feel like, I guess really for this vlog, I, I just want to I just want to get out and vent. It's something that's been on my mind the last few days, and it's something that I'm just trying to answer. I mean, I'm 27. One of the big reasons why I moved to Florida was to open up and find somebody because I felt that the state that I did come from, you either had to be super rich, a drug dealer, slash bad boy, or an over-religious nut. Um, that's just how I felt. Like You either had to be one of those three things in my home state in order to really find someone. And I really couldn't find anyone that, you know, just, you know, was a medium. You know, it's like, you know, you know, they are a faith believer, but, you know, they're not, like, going to church, like, every single day. That's cray-cray. I can't do that. Or someone who does, like, drugs and abuses, you know, their significant other. Or having the money and abusing slash, what's the word? cheating on their significant other. I just couldn't do that. So, you guys, this has been something that's been on my mind the last few days. Actually, the last few weeks. Even months. Even before I moved down here. You know, I'm, I'm trying to find someone. It's been hard. Especially with coming back and trying to really push into the dating game again. It's... I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I wish I could be more elaborative in this vlog, but I'm just ready. I'm just ready to find someone. I'm trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you guys, but I'm tired and I'm going to bed. Y'all stay posted. Stay tuned. Keep in touch with me at DreamPoet at Facebook as well as my Instagram. And the link's below. Thank you all for the love and support. I love you all very much. Peace, you guys.